Hi, my name is Anne-Marie Marshall from Salford CBS. As part of Small Charities Week, I'm doing this short vlog to go through hints and tips of how to improve your online fundraising. Tip number one, make it easy for people to donate to your charity. Often as not, I've gone on many charities' websites and there is no donate button on the front page. This is your window to the world and it is really important to make sure people know how to donate and make it as easy as possible for them. Make sure that donate button is linked to your giving platform uh, and that there is a, a, a minimum number of click-throughs that people have to make before they donate. So one click through through to your donate page is really useful. There are lots of different uh, giving platforms out there, uh, including Just Giving, Crowdfund UK, um, Virgin Money Giving, uh, GoFundMe. Often as not, these have fees that you have to pay. But the one thing to consider when choosing your giving platform is not only fees, but as a registered charity, can those uh, platforms actually collect a gift aid for you? Because that will increase the amount of money that um, goes to your charity. There is another platform out there called wonderful.org and that has minimal fees, so that may be one you want to consider. But making it easy for people to donate is a really good thing for your charity. Tip number two, make best use of your online tools and social media. For example, Facebook. When it comes to birthdays, people get notifications from Facebook to ask if they don't want gifts, do they want to set up a donation page for charity? So as a charity, just make sure that you are one of those uh, charities that people can sign up to. Uh, also, Amazon have Amazon Smile, which is a platform for Prime customers, where Prime customers, uh, when they uh, purchase items, can um, make a small donation through the uh, payment for their goods and items to a nominated charity. So make sure that you're on uh, one of those charities to sign up to. Uh, eBay is always a good one, uh, where people who uh, sell items to your charity can uh, donate profits direct to your charity. Um, new one for me is PayPal, and uh, with PayPal, you can set up a, a nominated charity, so they are part of your checkout. Uh, so when you buy items uh, are using PayPal, when you go on the checkout, there is a little button there that you can click on to donate a pound to your nominated charity. In addition, uh, don't forget your Twitter and Instagram accounts, the, the links in bio. Uh, obviously, if you can link your donation page to the bio, that is best because that limits the number of click-throughs. But if you've got another number of things that you want people to go to, why not have a link tree, which is a platform where you can put all the different links you want people to go to. And part of that, you can include your donate button. Make sure it's near the top so people see that quite quickly. Tip three is individual challenges. During the pandemic, all the normal fundraising activities such as fun runs, uh, marathons, um, tough mudders, um, triathlons, everything like that has uh, been suspended. But what's happened uh, during the pandemic and will probably happen for the next you know, year or so are people will, will want to do individual challenges. So encourage people to do their own individual ch challenges. It could be big ones like running half marathons and I heard of one for Dancing with Dementia where they had someone run five half marathons in a month which is amazing and they raise money for the charity or it can be just walking up and down the garden um, which may be a significant challenge for that person to just be able to walk up and down. There are various other things that people can do is uh, they can uh, set up um, targets so uh, climb the Himalayas, you can uh, work out the distance for that, 
uh, there's many different things that people can do to do their individual challenges and raise money for your charity. When people do uh, raise money for your charity, please make sure you um, big them up on your social media, so share their links, so utilising your networks to get the message out there. This will not only increase uh, donations to your uh, cause and to that individual fundraiser, but also encourage more people to think about doing their own individual challenges. And also, when people are uh, fundraising for your charity, get in touch with them, check with, with them time to time to make sure they're do, doing all right and reassuring them that they're doing a great job because sometimes motivation can be quite a difficult thing during individual challenges and a kind word does help. Tip four is crowdfund Salford. If you are a VCSE group based in Salford, a business or individual, you can apply to be part of the crowdfund Salford campaign. This offers you match funding to the money that you raise for your project. This is done through uh, Salford Council, who I worked with uh, Crowdfunder UK to uh, make sure there's this platform available to people in Salford. Um, as long as your project fits within the Mayor's priorities of the Great Eight, you can find more details of that online, uh, you'll be able to um, apply for match funding for your project. Um, crowdfunding is a different way to raise money for your group and uh, it involves quite a bit of planning, planning, more planning, building your social media audience and more planning before you even get your crowdfunder online. Um, I could give you lots of hints and tips of how to do a really good crowdfunder. One of those is making sure you tell a strong and compelling story. However, Crowdfunder UK has some fantastic resources and videos and support available to, for you to build your own crowdfunding campaign. Thank you for watching and if you need support with your own fundraising campaigns, please get in touch with the development team at Salford CVS.